estás sobrecargado. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, I would like to congratulate and thank the class of 2013 for all the good times we have experienced together these past four years. I would also like to say thank you to all our teachers, Oak Grove staff, coaches, families, friends, and most, most importantly, our parents, for all their love and support they have given to provide the opportunity to attend Oak Grove. I feel it is safe to speak on the behalf of my graduating class and thanking everyone for all your efforts you have invested in us to this day. It is my honor to be the graduating class of 2013 salutatorian. To explain what salutatorian means, I have turned to a highly reliable source that Mr. Conan would recommend. UrbanDictionary.com A salutatorian is the person who just missed being valedictorian by a few GPA points. A very visible person indeed. Second place is just the first loser. <laughs> this made me laugh, but looking at the big picture, it isn't about winning or losing. This is a time for everyone to celebrate, because this afternoon, 26 of us will walk across this stage and be graduates. Since this speech is one cliche, I want to talk about some of the cliches I've heard throughout our high school years. There is no I in team, the early bird gets the worm, all for one and one for all, all that jazz, and it all comes down to this. Those are just a few, but then I thought to myself, does it all really come down to this? And the answer is obvious, of course not. Yes, it is sad that we leave behind our friends, overall, many loved ones, but it's a time to remember all the good times that we have had. This is the starting of a new chapter in our story. Life is not about what grade we got in our 10th grade English class or how many detentions we have received. Life is about meeting new people, loving your family, being thankful for all the blessings the Lord has given us, and most importantly, sharing the grace and truth of Jesus Christ. The song, Hear My Prayer, which the choir, choir will sing a little later, is a great example of how we each are on a journey with Christ at our side. Some of the lyrics are, O oh Lord, please hear my prayer. Keep me safe within your arms, just to know I'm bound for glory and to hear you say well done. Life is full of challenges, frustrations, accomplishments, and gifts that make us all unique in our own way. Sitting to the left of me are tomorrow's leaders, doctors, physical therapists, mechanical engineers, teachers, rappers, professional video gamers, target executives, Maybe even the next Jeff Gordon professional NASCAR driver case. <laughs> Anyone who has attended Oak Road knows what a blessing the school is and how they have changed from when they first walked through the doors freshman year. From the first couple of years when we promised our parents that we would study hard and get good grades, to the last semester of our senior year when we started slipping and blaming it on senioritis or because we've already been accepted to college. Senior year has been by far the best year we could have asked for. We made sure to keep many of the Oak Grove tradi traditions alive, some including having the senior couch down, down on the football field during the games, having the most obnoxious student section at the volleyball games, making the homecoming dance super awkward, keeping Stamart in business by spending all our college funds on Arnold Palmer and popcorn, <laughs> passing down the senior gifts like reckless driving, the chocolate train, or even the relationship with. We had a good time with our senior prank going hard, duct taping anything in sight. Everything went as planned until Tyler Bird wasn't paying attention and tipped over the bowl with hundreds of goldfish in it. <laughs> I thought for sure the floodgates had broken because when I came up the stairs, all I could hear were girls screaming at the sight of hundreds of little fish flopping all over the floor. <laughs> if only I got it, someone got that on tape. We even started some of our own traditions that I hope that I hope will just carry on tailgating outside before the volleyball games in our pink togas, causing the opposing parents to give us some of the craziest looks I've ever seen. I'm sure they were just jealous and wanted some of Nels' famous broad bursts. Going on nature walks whenever we stay over in a hotel for basketball with the bros. Making sure now senior skip days 
are supervised by Mr. Roach and Gordon Gymnasium. <laughs> And lastly, we make sure to always go off campus whenever the school is serving pork egg rolls or foot long hot dogs. <laughs> I could go on forever with all the experiences I've had over these last four years. Oprah has helped shape each one of us for what lies ahead. Once again, congratulations, class of 2013. Good luck. And in the words of Mr. Cortez, praise the Lord.